is a house just down the road Where all the wayward dogs grow old And I am told that it is tended By a broken heart now mended A friend who didn't care about the fleas within their hair Comes downstairs at six each morning As a golden sun is dawning Where she greets them all by name Strokes the tangles from their manes And she explains to them with vav The breakfast's ready to be served And from a sea of wagging tails She dons her glasses, checks the mail And as the hounds consume their fill She takes her seven morning pills Till they start dancing on their paws Make little whimpers at the doors As they implore their guardian To let them go out for a run And so she takes a swig of tea Shuffles over Turns the key, her knees buckle as they pass They may be grey, but they're still fast And the moment the light hits their eyes The rods and the cones in their retinas Start to excite Their pupils dilate as if they've never seen the outside They could run for the sea, but there's plenty of blue in their life. I knew a girl who couldn't cope so she moved halfway around the globe when she was hoping she might find something to bring her peace of mind after her life had been upended when university had ended and she was working herself mental just to pay for food and rental so she spent beyond her means to go where everything was green she's been there 16 years this May and at the start of every day she goes and stares up at the sky where rainbow lorikeets are flying and she's trying to recall why she once hated feeling small Cos every morning when the light hits her eyes The rods and the cones in her retina start to excite Her pupils dilate as if she's never seen the outside Why would she go when there's so much more colour to find? My father likes a drink, he says that red wine helps him think of better times, so when we have a session, I'll chime in with a few questions, like did mum wear white upon her wedding day? Do you believe you had the chance to say the things you truly felt before she passed away? And with each question that I ask, I get the feeling that the mask he wears, it slips a bit, I'll glimpse the pain that's under it. After a few more drops of port, he seems to settle on a thought that summarises the loss of one you shared your life with. He says, the moment the light leaves their eyes, your rods and your cones, they fall silent as though it were night. Your pupils reflect all the darkness you hide in your mind. Realize she was the reason you weren't colorblind this whole time.